Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'll be not showing you a house tour because unfortunately there have been some delays with our deliveries such as our dining table, the outdoor bench that we've ordered from Ikea and um, some of the furniture that we're actually expecting to arrive last week. So unfortunately, I'll be showing them to you maybe on January. I might have a hiatus um, after this vlog because it's December, who doesn't want a holiday? But for now, I'll be showing you some of the fixtures that have been installed this week and the furniture that me and Alan have assembled for our guest room slash office room. It's going to be a very short video, but just to show you how I'm very pregnant as well, you will be seeing it in this video while we're assembling this IKEA David. So in this video, you will be seeing that there has been a struggle when I was fixing or assembling this IKEA bed because it's not just because of the bomb, but of course the complicated instructions of IKEA and that you have to analyze each screws and each holes where you need to put the screw on. It's actually easy, but if it's going to be your first time, it's always going to be complicated. And especially since it's a day bed, then there will be like a pull out or something. Then you have to convert it to a bed if you have a guest and a sofa on a day. So the instructions on how to build this is quite complicated for newbies. I'm no newbie, but even if I'm not, I still had a mistake on using a different screw on the rollers. So we had to redo the rollers after eventually reaching to the point where we're already putting the planks on the bed on where you put the cushions. It's actually a two-man job, so if you're alone and you're pregnant, I don't suggest that you do it yourself. But at the same time, ask your husband or someone in your home to help you fix it. It's easy, it's nice, it's comfortable. As you can see, it can fit up to three people. It's gonna be cramped if there's three people, but then it's still feasible if you don't have such space in your guest room. This week at the same time, we actually had our blinds installed. And in this clip, you'll be seeing how our blinds and shears have been installed here in our living room office room and the bedroom. It's actually quite nice now because we will have the privacy that we've been waiting for since we moved in. It's not that bad without these blinds because you can see the nice scenery and the people passing by, the cars driving by. But at the same time, 
at night. It's also nice because you will see the night lights of the highway and the houses around you. These blinds were actually supplied by Into Blinds and we had to wait for, I believe if I'm not mistaken, around three weeks for them to install this after all the measurements, the payments. So we initially had to pay a 50% initial deposit and then when they scheduled the installation, then we have to pay the 100% full amount of the installation of the blinds. So everything is included. So the blinds, the shears, and the manual labor of the people who are installing it. In preparation, we had to move all of our stuff backwards from the windows and from the terrace doors just so they can have the ample space that they require when they install these blinds. Anyway, I know this is a short video, but as I've mentioned to you, it's going to be very short because we didn't really have anything much going on since it's COVID and we're still working from home. This weekend, I'm hoping that we can go out again and do some fun activities with some of our friends. But I'm hoping that there won't be any more delays with the deliveries and all. And this COVID season has been a very hassle or too much hassle for people like us who just moved because most of the deliveries have been delayed because of the interstate border restrictions but we are hoping that everything will get better soon in every country or in different states actually there's a good news because victoria is already covid free so we are already allowed to travel to regional areas wherein we can get rebates from the government, like $200 rebate once we spend $400. So it's like basically 50-50 of what we're going to spend if we're going to travel or if we're going to be a tourist in regional areas. It's actually one of the good news, but we're still thinking about it. We're hoping that we can do it, but for now, we're still contemplating on where to go and when is the best time to go because my growing belly is already getting heavier every day and we're thinking of going to places which is very reachable and maybe accessible to hospitals or ambulance. We, we don't want to give birth in the street or in a highway. So anyway, too much of this. I hope that come January, the house is going to be fully furnished and everything will be delivered. And by that time, I can give you the mini tour that I've promised you for this mini series. So anyway, thank you again. If I won't be seeing you in the next two weeks, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Remember that this Christmas is all about Christ and we are celebrating this because Christ died for us and we are born again because of Him. Thank you guys for watching my YouTube channel, Misunderstood Cheeky. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video for any tutorials or how to comment it down below. I hope that this video that I've um, prepared for you will help you and help other people or your friends. See you again on my next vlog. Happy holidays. Cheers. Bye.